Welcome back to Persona 5 Royal, everybody. This is going to be a second take of this particular episode, as for whatever reason, my save file got corrupted um, when trying to record this one. So I ended up having to go back and replaying Kaneshiro's entire palace on a previous save. Now, the only difference between the previous save and the one I was playing on was that instead of playing darts with the uh, characters that I had chosen in some of the earlier episodes of this, I ended up playing billiards. Um, and that was more to see how I could get that one book that I was missing that one time. So that's the literal only difference. Let's continue on. Through tea, you say. That sounds pretty delicious, actually. Nice. I can go for some fruit tea right now. Good morning. Oh, hey, Makoto. Yeah, we don't want to be late for class, do we? Well, shall we begin? In the book, Zhuge Liang of Xu is famous for the exploits during the Battle of Red Cliffs. He is also the inventor of the Baozi, a kind of round dumpling, but their original name was based on their appearance. What is the meaning of the original Chinese phrase that these dumplings' name came from? Uh, in this instance, it would be considered a barbarian's head. This is it. Its original name, Manto, came from a phrase meaning a barbarian's head. At the time, one region's barbarians would use a person's head as an offering to soothe the deity of a flooding river. But Zhuge Liang made a, ba a balji in the shape of a head as a substitute. Hmm. Yeah, Makoto is a strategist. Okay, now that we've got some room, I did also make one other alteration that I should mention now, and it's to my Persona lineup. So before, I had the Devil Persona in place of the Priestess persona. The next person that we're going to talk to is going to require a Priestess persona to, for her Confidant rank. And I think we already know who it's going to be. Um, so if you don't have a Priestess persona, now would be a time to go and get it. And I'll let you know when to change it if necessary. But as of right now, these are the personas that we generally want. A death, an emperor, a chariot, a temperance, a priestess, a counselor, hierophant, justice, lovers, and faith. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go to the library. We got a book to return. What would you like? I need to return Zoro. What would you like? And we are going to take out a very important book, Speed Reader. From here, we want to speak to Miss Makoto. Hey. Hmm? Oh, I came to see you, of you course. Hmm, seems I have enough knowledge to invite Makoto out. Yeah, you have to have a certain amount of knowledge in order to uh, talk to her, basically. I can lend an ear. Thank you very much. like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? I'm here, aren't I? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way. That's 
simply how I've thought about it. Go in on. The end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. And uh, what do you plan on doing? My first step will be to learn more about the other students. But I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. You're totally right. I knew it. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way. I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, Back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? I mean, it's very subjective, but... Movie theater, karaoke, um, the arcade? Uh, I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest... I mean, that's where I, I would go as an arcade. Myself. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Let's go now. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. Yes, let's. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. It's almost like they're girl gamers or something. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. Hmm. Wanna try it? I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? Sure, why not? I did it! <gasps> no way! Ah! Akota's loud playing is garnering quite a bit of attention. She seems a bit too engrossed in the game to even notice, though. Oh, so this is how it is. Well, what'd you think? Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. That might just work. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. That was a new side of you. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I look forward to it. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. I'm just gonna kinda fast forward through the I am thou. Thing. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? With and Priestess, rank one. Shadow Calculus. Allows you to see skills and potential item drops on the analysis screen. All right. By the way, you went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? 
I'd like to go there as well. No, n not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Sure. It's getting late. Let's go home. Thank you. The red light district next. Sure, I still have a temperance. Hey. Uh, yep, yep. All right, perfect. Yeah. Is my room messy? It might just be. Yeah, let's go ahead and request her. There goes the five grand that Sojuro gave me. Is this really what you want? If that's what you've decided. your answer any of those three will uh, work and go ahead and choose whichever you'd like here um, are you going to give up This one, any of these should be good. Be confident in your answer. You're right. And we get rank eight with temperance. All right. We're almost done. Any of these should work. That's reassuring. Thanks. Good night. Any of these should work. You're welcome. Looks like we're getting some free time from Kawakami. What do you want to do? Yeah, let's go ahead and read. We did have a new book, The Speed Reader, which will become really handy. Hmm. Oh. 
right. Your reading speed has improved. From now on, you can read at double the speed, allowing you to cover twice the material. Ah. So instead of taking two times to read that Zorro book, it would have only taken me one if I had had access to this earlier. Kawakami wants to see us again. Sorry. All right. Great gone, Kawakami. Oh, what? God. Here they are. Uh, we're talking here. Oh, so now you're going to blackmail her, huh? What a bunch of dick bags. You can't give up. Kawakami appears to be deeply hurting. I need to do something for Kawakami. What are their names again? The husband is Toshio-san and his wife is Hiromi-san. do something about the targets for Kawakami. And we get a teacher made to suffer quest for when we decide to go into mementos. Until you finish that, you're not going to really be able to continue on with her storyline, as it were. Let's see how much time I have. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and Go back to the library here and return speed reading. What would you like? Thank you. What would you like? And we're going to borrow the illusory popus. Here. From here, we're going to go talk to Makoto again. Make sure you have uh, the priestess persona. All right, then. This way we can get as much uh, rank up with her as we can. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> You're very well informed. At Makoto's request, we walked separately through Shinjuku. Countless men tried to start conversations with her. Not surprising, she is rather lovely. <sighs> oh my. That was dangerous.
Thank you very much. And we get rank two. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, it's a student. And she's going into that building. Did you notice this? The after school salon. Any of these will work. Why is it called a salon? Hmm. All right, then. I couldn't agree more. Ah, you're back. Hey. At this point, make sure that you have at least a chariot and a temperance persona. I've got my chariot and I've got my temperance. But I'm going to have to call the episode here. When we return, we continue on. Until then, I'm Zero Kai X. We'll see you in the next one.